Hi, I'm Ramina Percy and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today, the Copernicus Sentinel-3 mission takes us over the Ganges Delta, the largest river delta in the world. Covering an area of around 100,000 square kilometers, the Ganges Delta lies in both Bangladesh and the state of West Bengal in India. The delta is formed mainly by the large sediment-laden waters of the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers. The riverbed of the Ganges can be seen on the left of the image, while Brahmaputra can be seen to the right. The snow-covered Himalayas can be seen at the top of the image. The Ganges River carries fertile soil and nutrients, which it deposits across its vast delta floodplain. The river flows for over 2,400 kilometers from the Himalayas before emptying into the Bay of Bengal, the world's largest bay. It is here where the murky colored waters mix with the darker colored waters of the Indian Ocean. The delta is largely covered with a swamp forest, known as the Sundarbans, and can be seen in dark green near the coast with several rivers snaking through it. The Sundarbans, which translates as beautiful forest in Bengali, are the world's largest mangrove forest and provide a critical habitat for numerous species including the Bengal tiger and the Indian python. The city of Kolkata is visible near the Sundarbans, in the lower center of the image. With over 14 million inhabitants, Kolkata is one of India's largest cities and is the dominant urban center of eastern India. Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, can be seen in the lower right of the image. Dhaka is Bangladesh's most populous city and is one of the largest metropolises in South Asia. With a population of over 100 million people, the delta is one of the most densely populated deltas in the world and is extremely vulnerable to climate change. The residents of this region are particularly at risk from repeated catastrophic floods due to heavy runoff of meltwater from the Himalayas, intense rainfall during the monsoon season, and from accelerated sea level rise. Satellites tracking the changing height of the ocean surface show that global mean sea level has risen, on average, by just over 3 millimeters each year since 1993. Satellite altimetry measurements also revealed that over the last few years, the global ocean has risen, on average, 4.8 millimeters a year. Sea level rise is a global issue, but regional differences in sea level rise put some places at risk more than others. In the coming decades, Asia is likely to feel the worst effects because of the number of people living in low-lying coastal regions. Bangladesh, India, China, Vietnam, Indonesia and Thailand are home to the greatest number of people who today live on land that could be threatened by permanent inundation by 2100. It is vital that the changing height of the sea surface continues to be closely monitored over the coming decades. Set to launch next month, the Copernicus Sentinel-6 mission will be key in undertaking this important role until at least 2030. Renamed in honor of the former director of NASA's Earth Science Division, the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite is the first ESA-developed satellite to be given a ride into space on the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the world's first orbital-class reusable rocket. Once safely in orbit, Copernicus Sentinel-6 will continue the long-term record of reference sea surface height measurements that were started in 1992. And that brings us to the end of this edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the European Space Agency channel. I'm Ramina Percy from East Web TV Studios. See you next time.